Welcome to Tricky's Kitchen where delicious food is made easy. Today Tricky is preparing creamy spiced chicken korma. The chicken pieces are marinated and cooked quickly and then simmered for a long time on low heat in a rich creamy sauce full of spices and flavor. It is said many a times that this creamy spiced chicken korma is the stuff dreams are made of. So let's find out and get straight to the ingredients. The ingredients for the marination the ingredients for the masala paste and finally the ingredients for the curry method wash and slash the chicken pieces then drop in the marination ingredients that's the turmeric powder salt ginger paste garlic paste and lemon juice mix well and set aside to marinate for one hour While the chicken is marinating, let's prepare the masala paste. So add all the ingredients for the masala paste to a grinding jar. That's the fried onions, desiccated coconut, yogurt, salt, green chilies, poppy seeds, almonds, cloves, fennel seeds and finally the peppercorns. Add a little water and grind into a fine paste. When ready to cook, heat oil in the wok, then drop in the butter. Add in the whole spices, that's the white cardamom, cinnamon, bay leaves and curry leaves. Toss. Now drop in the marinated chicken pieces and cook on high heat for 8 to 10 minutes. Fry well until the chicken pieces are well seared. Add in the powdered ingredients that's the chili powder, coriander seed powder, cumin seed powder and the garam masala powder. Mix well and continue to cook. Drop in the tomato paste and chopped green coriander leaves. Give it a good mix and continue to cook. Add in the ground masala paste and fry well for several minutes until the oil separates. Add hot water and the masala paste water. The masala paste water is nothing but the water that you used to rinse the grinding jar. Note, add required amount of hot water to adjust the consistency of the dish to your liking. Mix and bring to boil. Then cover and simmer for 10 to 15 minutes. Then open, add a pinch of cardamom powder, a dash of nutmeg, and kevra water. Mix and continue to cook. This is a good time to taste. So taste, add salt, green chilies and tamarind pulp if required to adjust the taste of the curry to your li liking. Then cover and simmer for a couple of minutes. Finally, garnish with chopped green coriander, ginger julienne and sliced almonds. Serve with plain rice, naan bread, onion and tomato salad or with any other accompaniment of your choice. And there you have it, rich and creamy chicken korma, the stuff that dreams are made of. So thank you for stopping by. Hope you will give this recipe a try. Have lots of fun in the process as you toy. And most of all, don't forget to enjoy. Tricky's Kitchen has lots of other chicken recipes that you would like to try out. So be sure to click on the screen right now and watch another video.